today we're going to talk about um, health cloud data models and specifically focused on provider data model. And in provider data model, we're, we're going to talk about the provider search and how to set it up, how to set up different objects so that you can get um, the provider search to work. And if you're interested in other different different object models within Health Cloud, I encourage you to go to this trailhead and which has all these different models. Um, and also sign up for the trial org because it's really helpful to actually see all the different records and the objects together in order to understand these trails better. And one thing I also want to point out is that these all different models are more like different parts within Health Cloud. So you might be a Health Cloud customer, but you might not be interacting with all the different models at once. Uh, maybe you are in health insurance industry, then you mostly deal with the insurance. Um, in my case, I dealt mostly with the provider data model. And then household data model is probably the unique, uh, common within all because household data model is where the patient gets associated with the household and the different providers and their employers. So it's really about all the different people and members within the health cloud. So it's something to probably important to look in, look into. Um, all right, so let's look at provider data model. And the provider data model objects, there are a lot of objects. As you can see, we have a lot of standard objects. So when you install the health cloud, or if you have any have health cloud, there will be no, some objects have health cloud GA namespace, but some objects are actually standard objects. So there will be, like account contact relation object. That's a standard object. It won't have any um, underscore C or the namespace. Um, they just act like standard objects, like contact or accounts or opportunity. Um, and then obviously there are a lot of uh, junction objects as well. We are not going to look at each one of them, but when you are actually working with provider model, the more important thing is how does the provider search work? Because um, if you are if you're a call center, if you're a healthcare call center, uh, the patient might call in to ask for, uh, you know, I need a patient, I need a doctor or a location near me uh, who's who is a specialist in mental health or who's a specialist in surgery and something like that. Then uh, the call center representative should be able to pull up that information pretty quickly and give that information. If you enter the patient address, you can enter all the different parameters and hit search. Um, so this provider search is actually a standard component that comes with Health Cloud provider model. And it is looking at a whole bunch of different objects in the background. So it's, it's obviously the contact and then different junction objects, um, the count as well. Uh, so all these different objects are kind of flattened and are fed into the provider search model. So there is an object in the background a flat file which is called care provider searchable field, this object. And this is the object that the provider search looks at to produce those results. Um, so majority of the time we'll be spending actually figuring out those different objects and populating those values so that the provider search is functioning. Because um, it's impossible for the CSR to use the global search to do that because they can't just look for specialist in the search and get those results uh, because you might have thousands of doctors with the same specialty but it helps you drill down so um, let's actually look at the model of objects that we are more concerned about in this video so going back to this there's a simpler version luckily for that diagram so um, one thing right off the bat we have a count which is location so in your case, it could be hospitals or the clinic. And then you have uh, the contact, which is the provider. Uh, and I will be using provider mostly for the contact in this video and the account for location for the accounts. So now one provider could be working for multiple locations. And the way to denote that is using the object called healthcare practitioner facility. So because the dog, John Smith could be working at Makana Health and also at different health, uh, different hospital. So this healthcare practice facility is actually associating those two together. And then we have care provider facility specialty, which is um, different specialty of John Smith, the doctor, as it, as it pertains to that dif different locations. And this is the specialty that the search um, provider search 
component we'll be using. And I'm going to focus only on the objects that is associated with the provider search. Um, and similarly, you have a whole other set of objects, care taxonomy, which is about the area of expertise uh, that you saw here. So if I go back, or the subspecialty, this is coming from another object called taxonomy object. That's not in this diagram, but it's a similar concept. It's like a mirror image of the care provider facility specialty object. And then care specialty is more like um, a set of records, like it could be internal medicine, cardio, um, ortho, or therapy, whatever the specialties are, they all are stored in one object. And then that gets associated with the care provider facility specialty to the patient, um, to the provider and the location. And then these all green objects, they are really a child of contact because they don't vary based on the location and they are really just child of contact. So you have personal education um, and EI board certification and all these objects. Okay, um, and one object, very important object that's missing from this diagram is the healthcare provider object itself. The reason I mentioned that's very important is because that is the object that that is eventually going going to be used by that bad job that runs to create this care provider searchable field object. Um, so let's look at the care provider healthcare provider object. So I'm going to search for care provider. Okay, the virus. So now, uh, one very important thing to note here is a healthcare provider is really a junction to either contact or account, but not both. So, a uh, practitioner is actually the doctor's itself, it's the provider. So, basically, you can have a healthcare provider and either relate it to an account or relate it to a practitioner, but not both at the same time. Um, so how, what, what does that matter? Um, basically, in this provider search, you can search for a provider or a facility. And if you create a healthcare provider associated with, with a facility, then you'll get a care provider searchable field for that specific um, record. And if you create it with the practitioner, then you'll get care provider searchable field for that record. So if I go back to that, Social object. Um, you have Makana Clinic as the care provider subject field, and then you also have um, John Smith because we have um, John Smith and the Makana Clinic. Um, all this to say is make sure you only have uh, account or practitioner populated and not both. That's very important. And then let's look at uh, the actual practitioner itself and how, how does that all work together. So, um, in this is the contact, the regular contact, right? And you see some new objects here. So, you have related contacts. That doesn't matter so much for the provider search. The healthcare practitioner facility. So, basically, John Smith could be working in multiple locations. In this case, there's only one, but he could be working in multiple locations. So, John Smith at Great Health Clinic. That's the practitioner facility name. If I click on that, you have practitioner facility and the active checkbox is very important and I've made that mistake where you have everything set up but the active is not checked. Then with the job that runs, um, and this job runs by Salesforce by the way, um, that's why you have auto proc last modified and it runs every six hours. You have no visibility on them um, as of now. And it runs every six hours, it looks at the healthcare provider and then populate these results. And then you can search them in the provider search. That's how it, that's the um, process it works. And then if there's no active, then it's not going to, it's completely going to exclude that and not appear on the provider search. So active is checkbox. And, and then there is these objects there, care provider facility specialty. Now, um, you could have multiple specialties. Usually the doctors do have multiple specialties. You have surgery, primary care, um, maybe blood pressure, cardio, whatever the specialties are. Um, you create the specialty and mark them active as well. So what happens is Salesforce job runs and it looks at 
specialty dot type. So if I go to the specialty itself, there's a type field there, specialty type. So what it does is it takes, um, it actually takes all these different records that's under that healthcare practitioner uh, facility and then concatenates them um, with that bar. So if, you, if I look at here, we have John Smith with surgery and primary care. So it looks at the specialty dot type, specialty dot type, puts them together and then um, creates that care provider searchable record. And this also needs to be active. Same way as healthcare facility network. Here is greater grid health PPO. And if I go back to, if I click on one of these, you'll see that it's grid health uh, PPO. Right there. So all these different are not editable. You cannot edit them. Um, they get created by the job. So you, can, you have no control over um, editing these records because that will that will uh, affect the job that's running. And all these different fields that gets populated gets populated from either the facility or the uh, provider itself. So assess new patients. These all records are coming from the uh, healthcare provider and combination of different fields from different objects. So um, what are, and then, Troubleshooting the healthcare uh, searchable field can be a little bit challenging because you don't have access to the job. Um, and if you have situations where you're trying to find a record in provider search does not exist or doesn't show up, then the first step would be go to the care provider searchable field and see if the record got created or not. Then the next step would be looking at healthcare provider, and I'm switching the tabs here, looking at a healthcare provider and seeing, okay, does the record actually exist or not? They should exist in healthcare provider. And then if you see that healthcare provider does exist, then click on the actual healthcare provider and see if they're active or not. Um, then after that, next step would be looking, going to the actual doctor and then seeing if they have the things that you're searching for. Do they have the healthcare practitioner facility? Do they have NPI, do they have uh, facility networks? And then sometimes, most, in most cases, um, when they're not working, it means they probably don't have the care provider's facility specialty um, checked. And this object is very important um, for that to, for the search to work and to get that specialty fields. Um, and in the same way, if I go back, and there's a confusing, confusion here is there's also healthcare provider specialty object. And in my experience, that seemed to do nothing in terms of provider search. You, you can have object, you can have this object populated, uh, but if you don't have the care provider facility specialty, it's not gonna pick up, it's not gonna get picked up by the search. So make sure you have the care provider facility specialty. And then healthcare provider taxonomy is for the subspecialty. So you, you do need that if you're planning on using that field. Okay. I know that was a lot of objects that I just told, just, just talked about, uh, but those all are important to get the provider search to work, and that's kind of um, that's the main power for the provider search. And there is uh, there are a lot of uh, enhancements for the provider search. You are able to add um, now add custom fields, and I can make another video on that because that's that's its own topic. Um, it's more like a twin field concept. Um, so you are able to pass custom fields to the care provider searchable field uh, by the healthcare provider, which I can talk about in a different video. Um, I hope that was helpful uh, and definitely check out this uh, this trail and sign up for the trial org to practice more. And this goes in more detail. And I do have code sample, um, and this was this was provided by somebody in Salesforce. Uh, all the different steps or, or different objects that's needed to get created. And this does not belong to me, but happy to share if you are interested um, in knowing more about this. So thank you so much for watching and let me know if this was helpful and um, if you have any questions or if you're trying to figure out the provider search and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.